what is an SSL certificate? Do you even need one for your website? Uh, we are talking about this super exciting topic of SSL certificates today because Google is rolling out a new update this month, July 2018. So um, an SSL certificate is something that you can enable or add to your website. Um, it really helps secure the data on your website that's being processed. So basically it just helps everything be encrypted. So if, you know, people's information, um, their payments, you know, if you're selling things. So basically if you, you know, if I buy something on your website, if there's like a hacker or something in between you and me, they're, they cannot access it. They can't see it. It's all encrypted and jumbled. It's, yeah, so it's really a great safety measure to take on your website. The good news is that it's super easy to add to your website. You don't have to, um, you know, like go in and code something. It doesn't, it really is just a few clicks of a button. So if you are on Squarespace, you can do this by going to settings and then security and make sure secure is enabled and then just save that and then you're good to go. Now, if you're on WordPress, this is something you'll need to do with your host. So Bluehost, SiteGround, GoDaddy, um, Flywheel, any of those, they will take care of the SSL certificate. Um, I think most of those hosts, the ones I just named, or maybe all of them, do it for free. So there's really no reason for you not to have an SSL certificate. All you have to do, um, if you're comfortable with going to the back end to the dashboard of your host, just go in and find where it says like security SSL certificate and enable it. If you're not comfortable, <laughs> just contact support, say like, I need to add an SSL certificate. I'm not really sure how to do that. And they'll add it for you. Like I said, it's most of those or most hosts do it for free. So not a huge deal, not going to take a ton of time. Now, the big update that Google is rolling out is that any websites that do not have an SSL certificate on their website will be marked not secure in the browser. Now, this is only for Google Chrome. This isn't for like Safari or Firefox, anything like that. But research and, and data that was shown just last month shows that 60% of the market uses Google Chrome for their browser. So kind of like a large portion of the market that's going to be seeing, you know, secure or not secure. And it shows right up by the URL in the browser. So the top left-hand corner, um, like if it's secure, it's green and it says secure and it has a little padlock next to it. So if yours does not have an SSL certificate, it's going to be, I think it's red and say not secure. It's not like bells are going to go off or <laughs> this huge pop-up is going to show up. It's just going to alert them up there, not secure. So this is really, you know, you want to build trust with your website visitors, especially, especially if you are selling things. Um, and that will cause some errors and some problems if you are trying to sell things and you don't have the SSL certificate. So just add it. It's really simple. A few clicks of a button, maybe talking to support if you don't know where those buttons are. Um, but something really easy you can do on your website. Um, the other um, update that Google is rolling out, not related to SSL certificates, but also happening this month, is the page speed update. So it used to be that Google really only paid attention to page speed on desktop because that's where we spent most of our time when surfing the internet. But as you obviously know, in the last several years, more and more people are looking at things online on their mobile phone. So this month, they are rolling out in their algorithm that your mobile page speed on your website also can affect your Google ranking. 
not great for a lot of people who have been kind of ignoring their mobile user experience, mobile speed. So this is definitely something that you want to pay attention to. I'll put a link in the description to a tool it's called Page Speed Insights tool that you can test to see the speed of your website on mobile. And it'll give you um, things you can look at to fix that page speed, to improve it. So again, super simple. Um, just something that you want to improve on your website because you want your website to be a good user experience. It's one of the first impressions that you're giving those potential clients. So you want to make sure that they feel you have a trustworthy website <laughs> that they can confidently um, you know, give you or your systems their payment information without it being like hacked or stolen. Um, but then also like no one likes a slow website. <laughs> so you want to make sure that your website's working smoothly. Okay. So um, those are the two things that you need to pay attention to. You do need an SSL certificate, super easy to add. Um, I'll put links to how to, you know, access or update the SSL certificate down in the description. Bye.